demonstrate. In this block are two discs of material, in this case, complex copper oxide. Now, at the moment, if I hold them to this magnetic track, nothing happens. However, when they're cooled to extremely low temperatures, in this case, using liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees centigrade, they become superconductors. As I pour it into the unit, the superconductor is capable of generating its own magnetic field equal and opposite to that of the track, allowing the tram to levitate. Now, as we cool them down, it should start to raise. Now, the person who comes up with superconductors that work at room temperatures is going to end up very rich indeed, because unlike the maglev train, levitation here is for free. It doesn't require any power at all. When you force a magnetic field into the superconductor, is a traction as well, which enables it to travel upside down as well. But there's no way you'd get me on a train like that. Magnets, they're amazing. Brilliant.